and I met at Georgetown and quickly discovered a common passion to solving problems facing the developing world in a sustainable way. Earthbag technology is the simple, scalable solution to construction problems in the developing world. We believe passionately in our ability to leverage our strategic partnerships in making our projects a success in the communities in which we operate. What's really innovative about our model is that it can utilize a number of other technologies to form a fully sustainable product. So through partnering with other organizations, we can use compostable toilets, um, solar panels, water collection and filtration systems to really create a fully sustainable product for the people that we're serving. I've had a real burden for Haiti, um, watching into the news, and being able to be a part of it at, in, a, in a very small way and bringing about positive change has been something I've benefited from immensely. So the main reason um, we decided to work on this project in Haiti is because uh, there's, there's several different factors, but there's a huge need here for sanitation, especially in a post-disaster environment. So what we have behind us right now is an earth bag structure um, and underneath uh, the soil which you can't see we've developed a septic system um, in this particular design which allows for the safe processing of human waste um, into plant food which will have a garden out here which will actually feed people. So it's a fully self-sustaining um, system in that you'll be able to take waste material and transition it into something that's an edible food source. We looked at a lot of different applications for this earth bike technology because it can be scaled into a house, a school, a medical center, um, but this is the most pressing need right now and that's why we chose to do our project here. So here in Haiti, um, we've actually had the good fortune of working with a great organization called Grassroots United. They're very connected in the local community and have a lot of access um, to Haitian volunteers um, and just their finger on the pulse of what's going on down here. The biggest impact this can have is we actually have brought in Haitian volunteers to work with us throughout the course of this project to teach them these methods um, so that they'll be able to take them back to their communities and into some of the aid camps. Um, and the big thing is we would love to be able to secure funding to go out and build these structures in the camps and in the countryside where sanitation is such an issue. Um, but here immediately who will be using it will be the Haitian volunteers here at Grassroots and also the international aid workers. Um, but what's very interesting about building it here is there's a huge influx of volunteers from all over the country, from all over the world, and having a working model of this technology um, and something that's usable and it's workable um, allows them it, to be exposed to it and then take it with them to other sites and other projects. The idea of using them in rapid disaster response um, sort of applications is something that I find to be um, unique. I haven't seen a lot of other groups that are working on that. Um, so that's, I guess, the new spin that we bring on it. This type of technology is new um, in terms of its implementation in the developing world. It's been sort of used conceptually in different models, um, but this is going to be one of the most visible aid projects that, to, to utilize this type of technology. To make this project a reality, we've been talking to architects, engineers, um, NGOs here on the ground. We have a network in place that a lot of people our age simply don't have the access to. Um, so that's something that definitely gives us an advantage. So much to learn and the biggest thing that you know I can just say going forward is I want to be totally receptive to the feedback that's out there because I recognize that I am very young and while I have some things figured out, there's way more than I, that I have to learn than I could ever know. And keeping that sort of in focus whenever you're on a project like this is really important. The next step, I mean, kind of after we finish this particular project, would be to partner with um, other organizations down here to assess what the greatest needs are in a particular community. So for a lot of communities, it is going to be the sanitation piece. There may be another community that really needs a school or a new medical center or um, some homes built, and we'd be able to walk in with this technology and build those uh, structures that they find most relevant and most necessary. And that's the biggest piece is how how their enthusiasm can be channeled into having a greater impact here in Port-au-Prince and other parts of Haiti is, is just going to be a, a great thing to watch.